Board Gaming for the Win fans, I'm Christopher Richter, and I'm going to share with you my unboxing of Star Wars Rogue One from Smuggler's Bounty. I just got it in the mail today, and boy, there are some really cool pop uh, figures in it. Funko does a great job uh, bi-monthly with the uh, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. Um, you know, I'm very excited about... Rogue One coming out in about a month's time. When I was growing up, Star Wars was in May. Um, and it, I celebrated my birthday with Star Wars. I was born the weekend that Star Wars debuted back in 1977. But uh, anything Star Wars, I love. I'm, I'm just a real big kid at heart when it comes to this franchise. It's, it's my favorite one, and it just keeps growing and growing now, and I'm so happy to see it growing. But, get back to the box. Now, if you're not familiar with the uh, Smuggler's Bounty, every other month, so this is a bi-monthly subscription, Funko uh, sends everyone out a theme box. Well... This month, it was the uh, uh, Rogue One. Now, with the uh, Rogue One set, we got, let's see here, uh, a pin. So, it, it actually fell out of the uh, plastic bag, if you can see it. It is the uh, security droid. That is the, uh, what is it, uh, the K-2SO. It's an enforcer droid. Um, and then the... Captain Kaysen badge, or uh, patch. So you get, a, you get a patch and you get a pin each time you get one of these boxes in. So they're always changing it up. They also tend to send you a t-shirt. Now, uh, they a couple months ago, I believe, they didn't send t-shirts out. But uh, uh, they did send uh, a hat and a, uh, I believe, a mug. This one is a Rogue One shirt. So, we'll give you the Darth Vader, and then we'll give you the other side of it. So, these shirts are are limited editions. They come with the boxes. They're, you know, they're exclusive just to the box itself. And speaking of exclusive, if you are a fan or you collect the uh, Funko Pops, especially if you want to collect a certain set, they do a lot of exclusives. Well, everything in the box is exclusive just to this one box. Now, this is the Imperial Death Trooper. Um, it's number 149 in the set. And uh, this one, and the Jin Urso, in order to get the entire collection of the Rogue One Pop Funkos, you're going to have to get this box, or you're going to have to buy these somewhere online, of course. Um, but the uh, uh, Jin Urso is number 148. Um, strong female lead in this movie. Uh, and then, Funko dropped these special crystal... Uh, well, this is a Crystal Darth Vader. They're uh, uh, Mini Hikaris. They're the Lord Vader's, the first Mini Hikari ever made by Funko. And he comes in five different colors. So I got the silver one. He also comes in blue, red, black, and gold, as you can see right here on the little pamphlet. Now, they do send you this little guide that tells you, you know, that shows you the sculpts and how it progressed from sculpt to what you get in the actual box. So, they go over everything. Now, the cool thing is, is that they'll tell you what's in the next box, or, or a little spoiler, something to, uh, something to get the juices flowing where you want to pick this up. And in the next Smuggler's Bounty, it's going to be an Empire Strikes Back, and it's going to be January, and this is what comes in it. Han on a Tauntaun. This is fantastic. I cannot wait until this comes out. It's going to be a deluxe figure, and it's going to look great in my collection. 
So, thank you for joining me. Again, I'm Christopher Richter of Board Gaming for the Win. You can follow me here on YouTube at Board Gaming for the Win, Twitter at Board Gaming underscore FTW, and you can find me on Facebook on my uh, special Facebook for the Win page. I'm also on Tumblr, Pinterest, and a whole handful of other websites. So, thank you again for joining me. This has been the next or the current that just delivers Smuggler's Bounty from Funko, and it's the Rogue One series. We'll see you next time for Board Gaming for the Win.